Okay class, today we're in section 4.2. Use linear equations in slope intercept form. 4.2. Use linear equations in slope intercept form. Before, you wrote an equation of a line using its slope and y intercept. Now, you will write an equation of a line using points on the line. Key vocabulary y intercept, slope, slope intercept form. Writing an equation of a line in slope intercept form. Step 1 Identify the, the slope m. You can use the slope formula to calculate the slope if you know two points on the line. Step 2 Find the y intercept. You can substitute the slope and the coordinates of a point xy on the line in y equals mx plus b. Then solve for b. Step 3. Write an equation using y is equal to mx plus b. Example 1. Write an equation given the slope and a point. Write an equation of the line that passes through the point negative 1, 3 and has a slope of negative 4. Solution. Step 1. Identify the slope. The slope is negative 4. That's what they told us right there. Step 2. Find the y-intercept. Substitute the slope and the coordinates of the given point in y equals mx plus b and then solve for b. Okay, so what you do then is you write the slope-intercept formula y equals mx plus b. You substitute negative 4 for the slope. The slope was negative 4. They told you that the uh, negative 1 was the x value so in place of negative 1 you put um, x excuse me in place of x you put negative 1 and they tell you that y was 3 so in place of y you put 3 now you solve this for b okay and then after solving this for b you'll come out with b is equal to a negative 1 alright once again for those of us who are confused I took this equation wrote it over here broke it down but bear in mind these steps you should know and know rapidly All right so we got 3 is equal to negative 4 minus 1 plus B so 3 is equal to negative 4 times a negative 1 is a positive 4 plus B I want to get B by itself so I say minus 4 on one side minus 4 on the other side 3 minus 4 is a negative 1 4 minus 4 cancels out so B is equal to a negative 1 Okay, now we're in position to write an equation of the line. A slope formula is y is equal to mx plus b. Now we know and we recall that the slope was a negative 4, so that goes there. And we just found out that b was a negative 1. Okay, example 2. Write an equation given two points. Write, a, write an equation of the line that passes through negative 2, 5, and 2, negative 1. Solution. Step 1. Calculate the slope. Don't forget our equation is m is equal to y sub 2 minus y sub 1 over x sub 2 minus x sub 1. Alright, to be sure we make no errors, we label our points. Alright, after labeling our points, there's less chance for error. y sub 2, that value is a negative 1. So right there we have a negative 1. y sub 1, that value is 5. So now we have 5. So now we got negative 1 minus 5. x sub 2, that value is 2. x of 1, that value is a negative 2. So that's going to be 2 minus a negative 2. Negative 1 minus 5 is a negative 6. Negative 2, 2 minus a negative 2. We know by now that a negative times a negative is a positive. So we're really saying 2 plus 2. And 2 plus 2 is 4. So now I got a negative 6 over 4. I want to reduce that. I can reduce that by dividing by 2. 2 goes into 6, 3. 2 goes into 4, 2. Alright. Once again, 2 goes into 6, 3. 2 goes into 4, 2. And then negative signs on the outside, so we keep that on the outside. So then we find our slope is a negative 3 over 2. Step 2. Find the y-intercept. Use the slope and the point negative 2, 5. Now, they're using the point negative 2, 5, but they can use negative 2, 5, or they can use 2, negative 1. The answer will come out to be the same. 
they could use negative 2, 5, or 2, negative 1. They chose to use negative 2 and 5. So, y is equal to mx plus b. Now we're doing the same technique that we used in the previous example, uh, in example 1. So once again, y is equal to mx plus b. We plug in the y value is 5. The x value was a negative 2. And our slope was a negative 3 over 2. Now we're going to solve this for b. After solving for b, we come out with b is equal to 2. All right, for those of you who may be confused going from here to uh, here, we're going to break it down for you once again. So we got 5 is equal to a negative 3 over 2 times a negative 2 plus b. All right, I have to know how to multiply my fraction. So I got a negative 3 over 2 times a negative 2 over 1. There's a 1 there. All right, now I multiply. Negative 3 times a negative 2 is a positive 6. 2 times 1 is 2. So I got 6 over 2 plus b. 6 divided by 2 is 3. So now I have 5 is equal to 3 plus b. I want the b by itself. So therefore, I'm going to subtract 3 from each side. 3 minus 3, that's cancels. So I'm left with just b. That's a b there. That's a b and that's a b. All right. Um, and then we get 5 minus 3, which is 2. So b is equal to 2. Step 3, write an equation of the line. y is equal to mx plus b. That's our formula. So we plug, plug in what we found. We found that the slope m was a negative 3 over 2. And we just found that the y-intercept b was 2. So our equation is y is equal to a negative 3 over 2 times x plus 2. Example 3, standardized test practice. Which function has the values f of 4 is equal to 9 and f of negative 4 is equal to a negative 7? A f of x is equal to 2x plus 10, b, f of x is equal to 2x plus 1, c, f of x is equal to 2x minus 13, or d, f of x is equal to 2x minus 14. Step 1. Calculate the slope. Write f of 4 is equal to 9 as 4, 9, and f of negative 4 is equal to negative 7 as negative 4 and negative 7. All right, now once again, when reading function notation, don't forget, this is your x, this is uh, the y value. So this is f of, even though this mean, this really means y is equal to 9, this really means y is equal to a negative 7. But when did that occur? It occurred when x was 4, that's why that's 4, 9, and this occurred when x was a negative 4. All right, so to find the slope, we make sure we label our points correctly. So we rewrote them over here, 4, 9, negative 4, 7. x of 1, y sub 1, x of 2, y sub 2. So let's plug in. m is equal to y sub 2 minus y sub 1 over x of 2 minus x of 1. And that's equal to, what's my y sub 2 value? Negative 7. What's my y sub 1 value? 9. What's my x of 2 value? Negative 4. What's my x1 value? 4. So now I'm ready to do my basic math. A negative 7 minus 9 is equal to a negative 16. A negative 4 minus 4 is equal to a negative 8. 16 divided by 8 is 2. A negative divided by a negative is a positive, so it's a positive 2. Okay, now step 2. Find the y-intercept. Use a slope and a point. Once again, find the y-intercept. Use a slope and a point. Now, once again, we got our choice. We can use 4 and 9, or we can use negative 4 and negative 7. They chose to use 4 and 9. You tend to pick, pick whatever you think is the easiest one to work with. All right, so let's come down and see what we got. All right, so we got y is equal to mx plus b. That's our formula. y is 9, so we plug that in. m we just found to be 2, and x was 4. x is 4 right there. So we plug it in, and now we're going to solve for b. After solving for b, we come up with b is equal to 1. All right, once again, for those who may be confused how we came out with b is equal to 1, once again, you got to know how to solve your equations rapidly. So we got 9 is equal to 2 times 4 plus b. All right, 2 times 4 is 8. So now we have 9 is equal to 8 plus b. We want the b by itself. That's a positive 8. So to get rid of it, we're going to say negative 8, negative 8. Always add the opposite. 
All right, 8 minus 8, that's 0, so that's gone. And we bring our B down. 9 minus 8 is, is 1. I don't know why I wrote a negative 1 there, but it should be a positive 1. All right, so B is equal to a positive 1. Step 3, write an equation for the function. Use function notation. So we got f of x, that's function notation, as opposed to y. f of x is equal to, we found the slope to be 2, and we found the y-intercept to be 1. So f of x is equal to 2x plus 1. So the answer is b. Concept summary. How to write equations in slope-intercept form. Given slope m and y-intercept b, substitute m and b in the equation y is equal to mx plus b. Given slope m and one point, substitute m in the coordinates of the points in y equals mx plus b, solve for b, write the equation. Given two points, use the points to find the slope, then follow the same steps described at the left. In other words, same step described right here. Modeling real-world situations. You can model a real-world situation that involves a constant rate of change with an equation in slope-intercept form. Gym membership. Your gym membership costs $33 per month after an initial membership fee. You paid a total of $228 after six months. Write an equation that gives the total cost as a function of the length of your gym membership in months. Find the total cost after nine months. Solution. Step one. Identify the rate of change and starting value. Rate of change M, monthly cost, $33 per month. Starting value B, the initial membership fee. Step 2, write a verbal model, then write an equation. Total cost C is equal to the monthly cost, 33, times the number of months, T, plus the membership fee, B. Step 3, find the starting value. Memberships for 6 months cost $228, so... You can substitute 6 for T and 228 for C in the equation C is equal to 30 t, 33 times T plus B. So we're going to end up with 228 is equal to, 300, is equal to 33 times 6 plus B. All right, for those who don't see that, we got 228 is equal to 33 times 6 plus B. 33 times 6 is 198. So now you have 228 is equal to 198 plus B. Now you want to get the B by itself. So this is a positive 198. So you're going to add a negative 198 to both sides. So negative 198, negative 198. 228 minus 198 is 30. 198 minus 198, that cancels. And you're left with just B. So B is equal to 30. That's how they got the 30 there. Step 4, write an equation. Use the function from step 2. C is equal to 33T plus 30. C is equal to 33T plus 30. Step 2. That was our equation right there. Step 5. Evaluate the function when T is equal to 9. So C is equal to 33 times 9. Put the 9 in place of T plus 30. And that's equal to 327. So your total cost after nine months is three hundred and thirty uh, uh twenty seven dollars. And if I said three thirty seven up there that was a mistake, it should be three twenty seven.